Good morning, everyone. Well, since I'm having trouble sleeping, and it is definitely good and early. I'm too dark to do anything outside yet. I figured I would go over my favorite knobs. My grandfather bought me this Buck 110X whenever I was just a young fella. Uh, it's a bugger to keep sharp. Or, well, not to keep. It's a bugger to sharpen sometimes if you don't have the right stuff because it's such... Since it's so thick. Uh, but I've had that since I was probably... I don't know, 10, 11, and I'm beside it, I bought this one, I don't know, 15 or so years ago, and I absolutely, it's amazing, I've only had to sharpen it once, which Unlike that old buck knife, this right here I've only ever used to uh, gut pigs and deer and to skin deer with. And it is just definitely worth the money that I've paid for that, which I can't remember. But And then this brand right here it's a interesting name uh, there we go there I have the one six inch boning knife and I got two skinning knives and a longer boning boning knife and let me tell you I skinned and I skinned two cows and cut and boned both of them with and they were still sharp after and I'm I've had a lot of different butcher knives and let me tell you these are better than the ones that I ever got whenever I worked at the butcher shop they are I don't know I, I really like them and they're you know, the other two are made in the United States and these are German They're a little, uh, they're a little pricey for a knife, but I promise you, if you, these, these right here, they're definitely worth the money, along with this, which, this one right here, I know wasn't cheap, I know I was gonna buy my youngest son the identical knife the prices they want for this exact knife on ebay is crazy and then this one right here it's been stuck in everything and used for everything let me tell you it's a it's one of them ones that's got more sentimental value than anything else well, if you have any questions about this or but these are definitely these three are my absolute favorite as far as being used and then this one it's just sentimental and it's tough 
It is tough. You know, it's the kind of knife you can run down the rib cage of just about anything. Hogs, deer, and then leaving my these right here. I run this one down the center of the rib cage of a cow just to see if I could do it or not and uh, yeah so if you're looking for a good knife good kitchen knife or even skinning or just anything but get one of these but let me tell you when you get them they are sharp I mean you can shave with them sharp and that's another plus I, I don't like getting stuff that you gotta fool with to make it sharp to begin with and I can be pretty hard on stuff so if I can if I have something and I use it And I haven't decided right away that it's, that I need to find something else. I am gonna get. I don't know how to pronounce it, but there's another German company that uh, makes knives that I'm gonna get and give them a world too. But as far as for skinning and butchering the hog or well hog or beef these right here are definitely my favorite well I don't know if I have anything else to say to do today or not I know I gotta put brakes on my mother's car and might uh, <coughs> I don't know what else I'm gonna get into. Guess if it's anything interesting, I will post it. And then I don't know any kind of thing you want me to. Compare. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I do have another knife that I do like a lot, but it is not. It's great for anything small. It's got it. I wish that. These blue handled ones had a handle like this because it is awesome. But this knife right here is great for anything except for skinning a cow. It doesn't do hot for that. It's too thin. It ain't thick enough. It, uh, it won't hold the edge going through the hide. But anything else, deer. And... As far as price, it's not a whole lot cheaper than the other ones, but, and it's a little, it's not a fillet knife, it's supposed to be a bone knife, but it ain't quite thick enough for big stuff, but works amazing on deer and anything small. I don't even do too bad with uh, pigs. Alright, now I'm done. See y'all later.